Welcome to Too Easy to Learn. Factors and Multiples By the end of this lesson, students will be able to understand the concepts of factors and multiples, find the factors and multiples of a number. Students will be able to apply knowledge of factors and multiple to solve exam questions. Let's start our lesson. What is factor of a number? Factor of a number is an integer that divides a number without leaving a remainder. Finding factors. Perform division test with integers starting from 1 up to the number. Let's find the factors of 6. So we'll divide the 6 by an integer 1 and we'll get the integer answer. So 1 is factor of 6. 6 divided by 2, answer is 3 which is integer. So 2 is also the factor of 6. 6 divided by 3, 3 completely divides the 6 and we'll get the integer answer. Therefore, 3 is factor of 6. 4 divided, 6 divided by 4 is equal to 1.5 which is decimal not an integers therefore 4 is not factor of 6. 5 divided, 6 divided by 5 is answer is 1.2 which is not integer so therefore 5 is not factor of 6. 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1 so 6 is also factor of itself. So factor of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Smallest factor is 1, and the largest factor is number itself. Multiple of a number. A multiple of a number is the product of that number and an integer. Means that if we multiply a number by an integer, and what we will get that number, that answer is the multiple of that number. Multiples can also be described as numbers in a given table. Finding multiples. Multiply the number by the counting numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on. For example, we want to find the multiples of 6. We will multiply 6 by counting number. So 6 times 1 is 6. So 6 is multiple of itself and this is the smallest multiple. The smallest multiple of a number is itself. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 is multiple of 6. 6 times 3 is 18 and 18 is multiple of 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So 24 is multiple of 6. So multiple of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24 and so on. So multiple of a numbers are infinite. As we keep on multiplication, we will get multiples. And the smallest multiple is the number itself. Factor and multiple. 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. So 24 is completely divided by 3. So 3 is factor of 24. So what about this 24? So 24 is in the table of 3 or we can say if we multiply 3 by 8 we will get 24. So therefore 24 is multiple of 3. So they are related to each other. Let's solve few exam questions. I'll suggest you pause the video, solve the problem, check your solution. Let's check your solution. Write any 5 factor of 60 means that we have to find those 5 numbers which can divide 60 completely. 
we can start with the smallest factor 1 because the 1 is factor of all numbers. So 60 divided by 1 is 60. So 1 is factor of 60. 60 divided by 2 will get the integer answer 3. So 2 is factor of 60. 60 divided by 3 will get the 20 which is integer. So 3 is factor of 60. 60 divided by 4 is 15. So 4 is factor of 60. 60 divided by 5 is 12 and 5 is factor of 60. So factor of 60 is 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These numbers are dividing 60 completely without any remainder. Question number 2. Identify the numbers that have the 18 as a factors. Means that we have to find a number out of this list which is completely divided by 18. So let's do division test. 54 divided by 18, integer answer 3. So 18 is factor of 54. So 54 has a factor as 18 as a factor. 126 divided by 18, answer is integer 7. So 18 is factor of 126. 198 divided by 18, integer answer 11. So 18 is also factor of 198. 240 divided by 18, decimal answer. So 18 is not factor of 240. 320 divided by 18, answer is decimal. It is not integer. So therefore, 18 is not factor of 320. So numbers 54, 126 and 198 has a factor 18 as a factor. Question number 3. Identify the numbers which are factors of 144. Means that we have to check all these numbers are completely dividing 144. Which number which by completely dividing 124 will be the factor of 124. Let's division test. 144 divided by 1 and we know that the 1 is factor of all numbers. 144 divided by 2, integer answer 72. So 2 is factor of 144. 144 divided by 5, 28.8, decimal answer, not integer. So 5 is not factor of 144. 144 divided by 9, answer is 6. 9 is factor of 40, 144. 144 divided by 11, answer is decimal. So 11 is not factor of 144. So we can say 1, 2 and 9 are factor of 144. Question number 4. List 5 multiples of 5. So we can read the 5 times tables. 5 times 1, 1. 5 times 2, 10. 5 times 3, 15. 5 times 4, 20, 5 times 5, 25, and so on. We can write infinite multiple of 5, but there is a restriction. We have to write only 5 multiples of 5. Question number say 5. I'll prefer again, pause the video, solve the problem, and check your solution. Let's see your solution. Identify the multiples of 8 from the following number. So 4 cannot be multiple of 8 because the smallest multiple of any number is number itself. So 4 is smaller than 8. So 4 divided by 8 0 0.5. It's not integer. So it's a 4 is not multiple of 8. Let's divide 18 by 8 and 2.2. So 18 is not multiple of 8. 24 divided by 8, answer is 3, so it's an integer, so 24 is multiple of 8. 36 divided by 8, answer is 2.4, so 36 is not multiple of 8. 40 divided by 8, answer is 5, it's an integer, so 40 is multiple of 8. So multiple of 8 are 24 and 40. Question number 6. Identify the numbers that have 24 as a multiple in the following. It means that the number of this list, the number from this list 
which divide completely 24 that number will be the factor of 24 and 24 will be the multiple of that number let's do division test 24 divided by 3 8 it's mean 24 is multiple of 3 24 divided by 4 integer answer 24 is multiple of 4 24 divided by 2 integer answer 24 is multiple of 12 24 divided by 14 decimal answer 24 is not multiple of 14 let's solve question number seven it's a very important question and listen it carefully 24 is common factor of 96 and integer k so where's the very important information given in this sentence it's mean that 96 and k is completely divided by 24 we can say in other words 96 and k is multiple of 24 both are in the table of 24 this sentence given that the k is less than 96 this is condition we will use this condition to get the final answer find the largest possible value of k we have to find the value of k as per this condition given in this question 24 is factor of 96 we'll get 60 mean that 96 is multiple of 24 and k is also multiple of 24 this mean we should read the table of 24 let's read it 24 times 1 24 24 times 2 48 24 times 3 72 24 times 4 96 the condition is k should be less than 96 this mean we should not go ahead so all these number 24 48 72 96 are multiple of 24 k is less than 96 it's mean this is cancelled answer should be less than 96 24 48 72 might be answer but there is one more condition find the largest possible value of k so out of these three digits which number is the largest 72 is the largest therefore the value of k is 72 this is final answer dear students you must read the difference between factor and multiple carefully learn it by heart and apply this knowledge to home task the home task solve it at home